Hello everyone, this is Nama, and welcome to uh, something kind of new I'm going to do, which is kind of act as filler, uh, filler for, um, for in between when I do my main shows like um, retrospective reviews and tin pits and whatnot. However, and this is obviously an LP of um, some good games and some bad games. Today I will be doing the latter. In this case, it's actually um, a horrible, um, a horrible um, flick that just came on the Steam storefront called Terror Lab. Yeah, you, yeah, Terror Lab in all caps for the. Uh, for the uh, shortcut title, so you know it's hardcore. And look, look at this. The the uh, the music is actually uh, pretty loud, and I can't even. Uh, there's this is a, this is absolutely the worst uh, user interface to any game I've ever seen. I mean, you cannot move up and down or move your. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but my. Mouse cursor is that tiny little flickering dot in the, um, in the, um, in the right-hand side of the screen near the particles, and particle dust. Now, and this is that, and this is supposed to be, um, horror game filled with jump scares, really bad horror game, according to, um, what I've seen on the Jim Position. Now, um, it, it's Greenlight Trailer obviously really fooled me with, um, because it looked really good, and now, um, yeah, as you'll find out, the gameplay is nothing uh, resembling uh, the, uh, the trail on Greenland. It's a lot worse. Now, couldn't they come up with any other um, idea for these uh, for the menu screen title? I mean, this is obviously the most cliche, overused soundtrack um, you could possibly think of. It's that it's that classical piece from Bach, you know, where that you always hear when you think of uh, like Dracula and stuff. But get me. Uh, now let's. It, it just says press enter to start with basic controls, and there's this huge frame rate drop going here. There. Now, um, now last time I record this, um, I couldn't get, uh, the, um, the, uh, the video to, um, to be captured. All I could get was the audio of me talking and, of course, the, the music. Now, 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 you're supposed to, what I get is that you're, this is actually not early access, by the way. This is a full release, and it's, and the um, final product looks nothing like uh, its Greenlight trailer, which obviously means that there's a bunch of editing going around um, with these shady assholes uh, from I what's it, who made these um, Genome Games? I think the studio of developers are called Genome Games. And you're supposed to be running around from some monkey who's supposed to surprise you with a one-hit kill. Now he's killed me several times. And I don't know how he's supposed to kill it. He's supposed to electrocute it. Now these guys come by surprise. So I better be careful. Any minute now. Now you can see the oxygen meter in the upper left-hand corner. If it runs out, you're dead. There is no uh, life bar, from what I know. See, so um, so um, this looks awful. This looks absolutely awful. And now the light turns back on. Oh shit! There he is! <gasps> See that this, this ape and Enzo's looking at me scared, but, but again, you're the only way you can kill these fuckers is actually if you just uh shock them and turn the light back on. You can have complete control of the generator. Now the quickest way to do this is to back yourself into a corner and let the, the chip come. And let Ed from, uh, from the movie Ed, that I reviewed, uh, come and kill you. It's his demonic cousin that's probably had his DNA spliced with Travis the Chimpanzee. And this is a virus? What the hell? What is the virus? Is, is it, am I dead? 
okay. Maybe this is a, um, happens if the oxygen take is running very low. Now, I'm unplugging one of my headphones because this is pretty loud and it gets pretty scary all the time. Where is he? I know you're here. Come out, come out, wherever you are. So what I'm doing on Steam now, um, to kill some time between making my shows, I'm showing... I'm actually showing off some video game footage of recently released games to warn people of really bad... of, of garbage out there that they should stay clear of or, and might get sucked into. And this is obviously one of this... one of these, um, these travesties I'm showing off. This actual this absolutely shows the worst of Steam Greenlight's lack of quality control here. Now, I'm waiting for that monkey to um, come by real quick. Where am I supposed to go? You know, maybe I should just let myself die here. And there's absolutely no indication of him coming near you. Like, he could just take you by surprise. And I'm dead. And is my game crashing? And... Okay. Okay, I'm back to... What? There's no save feature in this game. You're always starting back at the beginning again and again and again. Just trying to out, just trying to turn back generators on with a uh, chimp running wild, and there's no warning that he's nearby until he kills you in one shot. I uh, have no clue what these buttons do. I think this is really just to turn back the um, oxygen on while the flickering lights on and off in an attempt to scare you. Which it, um... There's huge frame rate drops going on here. Which also makes this game pretty laggy. And I have a pretty good computer. It's uh, actually... It's my laptop standard. I'm gonna let you show me. Let's go walk around. Come here, Chimpy Chimp. Enter to stop the system. Okay. Stop the audio system. I know you're here. And when he kills you, he says some gibberish here. It's absolutely tr trash here. Wasn't I just there just a moment ago? Now one of my guys, um... Now this actually cost, um, over three dollars on Steam. Three dollars, that's right my friends. Three dollars on Steam. Oh, 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 where did he come from? I didn't even hear any footsteps. What the fuck did he just say? What was that? There's no subtitles. Yes, this is what this game is really is. It is... It is one hit kill jump scares. That's what it is. It's... It, press enter to start. Yeah. That's all you get. Let the Bach music play. It, yeah, the creative license is my ass. This is obviously stolen off of uh, a music library of classical geniuses that anyone can use for free. The developers obviously just, um, uh, the game froze here. I'm gonna just delete this game and ask for a refund. Thankfully Steam has a refund policy, okay? And I can just uh, get a refund for this piece of shit, which is very thankful for them, but why the hell was it even on there in the first place, on the storefront in the first place? The, 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 the 
story, no strategy, just jumps you right in the middle of a maze. While you try to switch, um, squ take on switches and, um, and, um, outrun monkeys. And because they're one hit kill, there's no life bar. And they don't make any sounds except for when they kill you like this. Now, by far, this is obviously, um, no, it's really not, but this is by far the worst game of 2016 so far. And it's only March, and we only got nine more months to go, but. Bottom line is, stay the hell away from Terror Lab. Again, I will be coming up with uh, more shows um, for retrospective reviews and um, tidbits as well as Square Timber and Theatrical Dumpster. All my other shows are out there. But this is what I'm doing in the meantime to fill in the time it, makes, it takes me to, to put together the edits for the show. Which are far better edits than the trailer of this game. The trailer of this game frame range and uh, rendering was nothing like this. It was a lot better. So, obviously what they did was they put screenshots in um, a trailer that looked a lot better than the final product. So, it's the equivalent of um, wrapping a turd in, in very fancy uh, gift wrap under a Christmas tree. Thinking that you're gonna, thinking that there's a goodie inside, only to find out it's shit. Again, 